Good morning, everybody. Hello, and welcome to the Rolling Doubles podcast. My name is Ryan, and I have the pleasure of talking with Nikki Schultz today from Playback Games. Hi. Uh, good morning. How are you? Happy Gen Con. Happy Gen Con to you. It's chaotic. Yeah, <laughs> it, <laughs> that is an understatement. Uh, we're here to talk about Aftermath, one of the nice uh, big box releases that you guys have coming out for Plaid Hat. Uh, yes. What's Aftermath all about? It is the third installment of our adventure book game series. Uh, it is based in an apocalyptic world where all humans have mysteriously disappeared and the animals of the world have to fight to survive. And um, it has really cool minis and it's played, since it's one of our adventure book games, it's played in the pages of a book. Yeah. So it's, it's very narrative driven, good story. Um, lots of choices to make though and uh, you will each play a rodent who has mm -hmm. special abilities. And this is from the Mice and Mystic kind of series? It's not. It's in a separate world. In a separate world of Mice and Mystics. Yes, okay, yeah. so very similar in terms of like your guys are rodents and mice, and but still this is kind of the same? Yeah, yeah sorry. Yes. I, just, I don't oh, no. know if the camera there, people are trying to get around. Oh, sorry. no, it's totally fine. Yeah. Oh. Um, but yeah, let's yes. take a look here. So this yeah. is a this is a production copy that we have here, a pre-production copy. It's production copy. Production copy. Yep. We so just got them in. So these adventure books are going to be very similar to what we've seen in stuff fables, Komonots, That's exactly right. Uh, even Quirky Circuits, which is a release here at Gen Con, it's, has kind of like a similar type yeah, it's of. Played out of a book, but it's not narrative driven. Okay. It just is a good format yeah. for that type of game because mm -hmm. they each have their different scenarios and they get increasingly more difficult to each yeah, page. Absolutely. Yeah. So if we we won't spoil anything out of the adventure book here, but I think the thing I really want to get to here yeah. are these miniatures. Can we open yes, one up yeah, here? Yeah, definitely. That is look at that. Is that a wash on them? It is a wash, yeah. Okay, so they all come washed. Yes they do. That is fantastic. Yeah and then you got it there? So th these are mainly the enemies and alliances you can meet. Okay. The This is how you'll keep track of your stats, like your time, your scrap, okay. your food, because you have to provide for your colony, your yeah. providers, and all of this matters. Yeah, Morale, very cool. Um, Let's take a look at these are these are this is a nice plastic too. That's fantastic. Great wash on them. And then Am I doing a bad job with the focusing? Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> She's like, I've got this. Yeah. And then what's cool are the these tuck boxes that fit nicely in here. Yeah. I've already put the main characters in their own box. Oh, okay. Sounds yes. good. So how do, the the, how do the tuck boxes then uh, work with the game then? So everybody is going to have their own character that they're going to go through in this adventure quest then? Or can anybody kind of like pick and play from... It's a campaign system. Okay. So once you have like, if you've started out with the guinea pig, uh -huh. you're going to keep going each time you play. You'll just grab your tuck box and everything that you have gained is going to be in here. Very cool. And you don't have to put your mini in. I just put her in here for easy access. Oh She's yeah. My favorite. Oh my gosh. That is, that is great. Yeah, and the detail in these minis. They are, they get better and better every single release. That is fantastic. This is Chad Hoveter again. Yeah. Uh, who did the artwork? The artwork is. <laughs> Let's see. Does this we have here in the book? Yeah, it should. I think it's in the adventure book. Actually. Oh sure. It's two artists. Art artists. Art <laughs> artists. Uh, Tragus and. Oh, there we go. There they are. Uh, graphic designers, so David Richards, Kendall Wilkerson. Yeah, they're, they're our in-house graphic designers. Here's okay. the illustrator. Trigus, yeah. Bima with a pencil, and Jimmy, is it? Yeah. Chow. Chow. I probably said that wrong. No, no, it's totally <laughs> great. This looks yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Now, th is this a Gen Con purchase then? No, this is just a demo. This is a demo copy. to show it off and with the minis up there. Very um, cool. It's going to be available at the end of September. Okay, so very soon. October. Excellent. Yeah. That's very awesome to, to hear. Yeah. And it's like... a. Stuffed Fables, it's similar to play, except for we've got cards instead of dice. Oh, okay. And it plays a little different. You can hold on to more cards, and uh, you can combo cards. Awesome. To, like, have better stats. Very cool. We have these cards here. Did you say that you sold out of the game, or? I'm pretty certain. Yeah. Also. Let's see. He's taking a look at some of the other tokens yeah. here. Are we spoiling anything by guy going into this too much, or no? No, no. No, in there? Show that. Don't show that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these are, this is just a very excellent production. I love this. This is great. Yeah, these are situations. So one thing. Oh, so you can be poisoned, injured. 
Yeah, the 1700. Thank you. The battle dies. After my first event. Thank you very much. Yeah. Excellent. And search tokens. Got it. Yeah, yeah that, that looks that looks awesome. Yeah. Um, there's one other small box that I saw. I don't know if you yes. have it. Oh, it's yeah. right over here. So do we want to quick talk about what Battlelands is? Yeah, give me just a second. it all now before it gets, yeah. <laughs> That's a map. Yeah, map of their like the map world. of the yes, the map of where you'll be traveling to. I'm assuming to access different missions and such. Yes, exactly. All right. So then, in the same world is Battlelands. Yep. We got Battlelands. It is a card game. Okay. It's turf war. You see how cute it is. So these are the factions that you will find in Aftermath. Okay. So you're going to have a lot of the characters. So you play this game, and then if you play Aftermath, you'll know some of their backstory. Okay. And then these are the factions, like the Blighted. <laughs> these are some of the baddies you'll meet in Aftermath. Oh. And has a sweep up the dust yeah, so this is a fifteen dollar game. It's okay. available at Gen Con. Okay. So this is a. It should be released uh, okay. beginning of September, I believe. Okay. So this is this is a Gen Con release, then you said. Limited, yeah. Limited Gen Con release. Okay. So for people that want to get into Aftermath, this is a complimentary or pre maybe a prelude to it, or just. It's just a nice companion. Just a nice companion to yeah. the game. Okay. And you definitely you don't have to have Aftermath to play this. Right. You can just know more about these characters if sure. you play Aftermath. I just want to show you each of the factions. So you'll be fighting over locations in this game. It's three to five players. And then these are some of the locations that you'll be fighting over and how much how many points they'll score you. Okay. Yeah, so like these are basically the good guys from Aftermath. Okay. You'll see some of the characters that you can play. Cool, very cool. Again, excellent art, the same artists, I imagine, same same yes. team. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's Grumple, my favorite. Grumple. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the big uh, the big uh, chef's knife. Yes, <laughs> I love it. And so very That's briefly, a like a turn of Battlelands, you play some yeah. cards from your hand as a deck builder. Um, yeah, you're gonna have two. Okay. And then your ranged row. Okay. And by the end, like whoever has the most value here will win the location. Okay. But Sounds there good. There are cards in here that let you like turn your uh, opponent's cards over so that this value doesn't count towards theirs. Gotcha. Okay. So it's a lot of gathering material so that you are able to have more victory points. Yeah. Uh, you can attach equipment to your your characters and you get okay. more money basically. Very or cool. More victory points, not money. <laughs> yeah, so putting, so having the melee row, the ranged, ranged row, row, having everything kind of, you playing cards that kind of alter everything at the end. Yes. You just tally up everything, you win that location, so very fast, very yes, quick. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fast game. And those rows matter because there will be some cards that are like, flip over the last card that was played in your melee row. Got it. Okay. And yeah, so, so that's, that's how you affect the board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, yeah. what I want to be able to close out with is a happy birthday to Plaid Hat 10 years. That's right. Uh, for those that don't, uh, we have the cool hats that you saw me wearing earlier. We have pins for both Mystic, Mice and Mystics and Quirky, Quirky Circuits. circuits. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else? Anything? Any parting words? I don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> we have Jerry here, Jerry Hawthorne, designer of Aftermath, Mice and Mystics. Yeah, do you want to talk to Jerry? Come on in, Jerry. Hello. Hi there. Jerry Hawthorne. Hi. Games. We just got done uh, talking about Battlelands. Mm -hmm. Also, we saw Aftermath. What an excellent production that was, and a great game in the Adventure Thank Line you. series. Thank you. Um, being able to come from Mice and Mystics to Aftermath, what has been kind of the biggest change that you've seen so far? Well, the the biggest change about the game is that uh, unlike uh, Mice and Mystics, 
the aftermath is about like managing a colony mm -hmm. and also going out on an adventures that 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 tie into the managing of your colony. You're you're little providers and you're trying to take care of a little colony of mice. Yeah. And um, that colony, it's a living game. So as you play, things are going to happen in the game that are going to change the game. The next time you play, it'll be a little bit different because the world that you live in is yeah. kind of like a sandboxy kind of thing. Absolutely. Also, it's card driven. Uh, Mice and Mystics is a very dice driven game. Yep. Um, Aftermath is card driven. So whenever you do an action, uh, we, we have a you'll have a hand of action cards, and uh, working with those cards and using them uh, in clever ways is is part of the joy of the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, it feels. Uh, at its in its heart, the story feels a lot like Mice and Mystics, but the mechanics feel a lot more modern yeah. and, and updated. So. I mean, do we think that just dice combat or dice driven mechanics are something that maybe you want to ex, ex, you know you've done what you can in that realm and maybe you want to explore more towards like a card driven system or what kind of drove you to kind of more of that evolution of a system? Um, I really wanted to uh, have something that um, that you would have a little bit more control over than dice. So, okay. Uh, the card system allows you to uh, have more control over the luck element. Yeah, okay, got it. So yeah. when you play your cards, you're trying to get the biggest number that you can. So mm -hmm. let's say you're going to take on a boss. If you get the right combination of cards, you keep building combos, then you can you can really get a big hit on that yeah. boss. You can't really do that in Mice and Mystics. You just roll the dice and sort of hope that you get enough of the symbols that you're looking for. Yeah. But in this game, you really can work together as a team, and I, I really like that, that little bit of element of control. Mm -hmm. So... But I don't know. I mean, in the future, I don't think I've exhausted everything that you can do with dice. Either. Sure. So, uh, yeah. It's, I think it's a kind of fun and interesting part of being a game designer is just we always start with a cardboard box full of stuff. And yep. then that's all of us are working with that same kind of thing, a cardboard box full of a, a combination of different cardboard and plastic. So, yeah. Um, it's interesting to see how everybody constantly always does new and different stuff with the same set of components. Yeah, that's, that is very true. Very true. Um, anything else? Uh, let's see. So again, Mice and Mystics, Comanauts, Stuff Fables. Uh, then again, we have Aftermath, which is coming out this fall, correct? Yes. yes. Very cool. Aftermath um, actually comes out in September, so it's, it's right around oh, the so corner. Oh, so it is right around the corner. Yeah, it's okay. coming out sooner rather than, than later. So. Excellent. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for oh, talking about Aftermath. We're going to hopefully try to fit in a demo sometime during Gen Con. Please do. Please yeah, do. be well. And uh, yeah, that should do it for Flathead. Thank you very much.